Hey, wonderful people. It's Aurea Pampa here. Glad to have you on board again. And today I wanted to tell you about a platform that I sometimes use for voiceovers, for getting voiceover jobs. It's a bit different from other platforms, so stay tuned. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, thank you for joining. I appreciate you, as always. And if this is your second time, fifth time, 50th time, 100th time, you're the real MVP. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway, so um, do the needful. So go ahead and click that like button, that subscribe button, and let's get to it. Okay, so today I'm going to be speaking to you about this platform called Bunny Studio Voice. Now they're called Bunny Studio Voice because it's Bunny Studio and they have different other services they offer. But today we're going to focus on the voiceover service that they offer. So they provide voiceover services to clients looking to get um, voice of artists. Simple as that. It's different from other platforms that are more open. So on other platforms, you'll probably be able to see all the jobs that are relevant to you. You as the voice of an artist go ahead and audition for the jobs. However, in Voice Bunny's case, um, I call them Voice Bunny sometimes because they change name. They used to be Voice Bunny and now they're Bunny Studio Voice, but sometimes I'll interchange them. So on Voice Bunny anyway, what you would have to do as a client to get a voiceover done, they've kind of automated a lot of things. And I think they've done some some clever things. Some people have mixed feelings about it, but I'll explain how it works. Okay, so first off, if you are a client looking for a voiceover, right, what you would do is go to their website, so um, bunnystudio.com or voicebunny.com, and then you would select, oh, you need a voiceover done. What will then happen is it'll give you a place to put in your script so you can put the number of words and then you'll be able to see roughly how much it might cost. Then as the client, you then have three options. You can either go and book a voice artist directly so you can look in their, direct, their directory and listen to different voices and different styles, to different languages, accents, tones, that sort of thing. Um, different applications as well like e-learning, audiobooks, radio, adverts, that sort of thing. Um, so you can listen to those. And then if you see, if you hear a voice that you want, you can be like, yes, I want that voice, select that voice. And they'll tell you how much it would cost. And once you give the go ahead, you can make your payment and then the voice artist will be contacted. That's one way. Another way is that you could do speedies. So what speedies are, are basically as the name suggests, um, you put your job out there and then you put it, you just put it out there. What voice bunny would do is that it would look using its algorithm look at the different voice artists that are available that fit the criteria the client is sort of looking for and then send the job out to those people basically the job gets sent out to a lot of people the first voiceover artist to respond to that would get the job and then they have a certain amount of time to fulfill it if it's a short piece it might be 30 minutes if not if they can't deliver in 30 minutes um then it will go to someone else um so they, it's better off not to accept it if you're not going to be able to deliver in in that time um, another thing that could happen is if it's a longer um, piece of voiceover, it could be that the voice artist maybe has six hours or seven hours to deliver on it. I've had I've had one or two come in like that. Um, and so once they accept it, the voiceover records it, the voiceover artist records it, sends it to sends it back to Voice Bunny. Now, between Voice Bunny and the client is the quality control team. So they listen to the voiceover and check that it meets all the technical requirements. So things like it being a WAV file, the loudness level, so the RMS level, being between minus 18 dB and minus 23 dB, then also making sure that the peak level, so how the loudest part of the track is not above uh, minus 3 dB. And then also making sure that the noise floor is below a certain level. I think it should be minus 60 or less, but once that's done, it gets sent. Uh, so the, the quality assurance people listen to it. If they're happy with it, it gets approved and gets sent to the client. If they're not happy with it, they'll send you a message back as a voice artist and say, okay, these are the things that need to be corrected. So does it, maybe it sounds too boxy or um, it doesn't quite meet some of the requirements. Uh, then they would send it back to you and then you'd have to adjust that and then send, send the job back. And once that's done, the client, um, it then gets forwarded to the client. Then the client can then say if they like it or not, or if they have any other feedback, if there are any revisions, uh, you as the voiceover artist would be required to uh, make those changes, but also depending on if the changes were caused, were, were required as a new requirement from the uh, client, or if it was maybe a mistake that you'd made, that would depend on if and how much you would get paid for those revisions. And then once those revisions are sent, um, are done by the voice artist, sent back, get sent back to the client, the client then listens to it. If they're happy with it, they select it. If not, they can either request um, a new voiceover artist, or um, they just accept the job and kind of move on with that. 
Okay, so the final way a client can request a voice of artist to do their job is to start from something called what they call a contest. And basically it's that the job gets sent to three different voice of artists who would then um, create a sample, not the full recording, just a sample of the recording and send it back. Now it'll go through the quality control people as well, make sure everything ticks off. If it does, it then gets sent to the client for review. The client likes one of the voices, they can choose, choose that voice and then get the booking done for the full recording. Or if they don't like that voice, they can request another three voices to do the voiceover and then um, to send samples rather. And once those voices have done those samples and they've sent it, it's been through quality control and sent to the client, the client can then decide out of those voices which one they would like. Um, once that's done, again, the client can then go ahead and pick a voice and get the voice to deliver it. And everything is timed, just bear that in mind. And I think it's quite clever because when people sense, have a sense of urgency, they tend to get things done immediately as opposed to waiting um, for another time in the future when they can do it. So um, that those are the three ways for clients anyway to interact with Voice Bunny. So like I said, they can either book the voice talent directly, they can um, go through a speedy where they get the first voice artist to deliver it and deliver it quickly, or they can do a contest where they can test out multiple voiceover artists um, doing the creating uh, samples for the audio and then choosing who they want to work with. Next up, I'm going to be telling you um, the process from the voiceover artist's point of view. Just a few more things that I haven't covered in that quick overview that would be important for the voice artist. Stay tuned.